Hello. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming to my talk today. Uh, I'm Nam from the PSC. Um, so uh, the, the topic of my presentation today would be uh, programmable cryptography with uh, Cellcom MPC. So the talk will, will, will include three parts. Uh, the first is I will try to uh, convince you that, uh, you know, like programmable cryptography, uh, that there is a fact about it, and then uh, how 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 is like my vision, and uh, what is the current realization of this uh, this vision? Okay, so um, programmable cryptography is uh, what we should uh, look at it as like MPC as a paradigm. So it is different from MPC as a technique that we usually refer to, which are like secret sharing based or double circuit based uh, generic MPC. Uh, it should also include other aspects of, uh, you know, like uh, system like blockchain or other cryptography technique like uh, zero-knowledge proof or fully homomorphic encryption. You can also use like uh, TE in this uh, in this paradigm. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think like most of us are familiar with this uh, MPC as a technique, so I just skip it. Uh, also, uh, MPC is a paradigm. Paradigm is actually like not what I invent, right? Uh, it is like the definition of uh, what we usually use in cryptography. So uh, we have mutually distrustful parties to jointly compute a public function f. So we only have this uh, box of uh, MPC of function f, and then we describe that there are like three parties, each has uh, a secret input, x, a, x, b, and x, c, and we want to compute this f over x, a, x, b, and x, c. And we want these uh, properties that are privacy, independence of inputs, and correctness. Okay? Uh, so like, it doesn't say anything about secret sharing or, or gable circuit. Uh, and also we can look at zero-knowledge proof as a specialized MPC in which you have this MPC box that just check the relation on the statement and the witness. And then you output one. If uh, the statement have to happen to be the same between the verifier and approver, and also uh, if the relation check is uh, successful. So it's just one bit. And then, you know, looking at this, we, we know that uh, zero knot proof is an efficient uh, application specific MPC that uh, checks these things. Uh, then FXG is uh, effectively an MPC building block in addition to uh, the other techniques like uh, secret sharing and garbage circuit, right? So uh, FXG allows uh, doing addition multiplication of uh, cybertext. Uh, you know, like so, so we can uh, some, uh, achieve the summation or the product of the encrypted values. So uh, we can also use FXG to, 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 to build a generic MPC. And actually, it has uh, a more straightforward mental model when you look at like, how you can use FXG to realize MPC. Uh, yeah, actually very, very straightforward, uh, even more than secret sharing and garbage circuit. And uh, in the context of blockchain right now, uh, we, we have this concept of when you have a distributed application, you add your knowledge proof to it. You have the notion of ZKD app. So it's like, you know, verifiable uh, distributed application. And then you also have the uh, concept of when you have a distributed application, you add the technique called ZKZK into it. You have something like ZKZKD app. So it is actually, uh, you know, like a private distributed application, but you have only one side privacy, that is for the prover, right? So you try to prove something uh, with respect to your uh, secret witness without the other, other party to learn about your witness when you use this technique. Uh, there are several applications right now for this. Uh, so you have like ZKID. Uh, a prominent example is like semaphore by the PSC. So you, you do this for like a privacy preserving ID from the prover. Uh, you can also do like ZKML, so, but in this case, uh, you can only have either the model or the sample uh, staying private. You cannot have both. So by introducing uh, MPC into uh, the blockchain development stack, you can combine DApp and MPC. So you have private parties inputs from more than one side. And you can actually like do uh, more than two parties computation. Uh, like examples of, of this, uh, you can do PPML. Uh, that is different from ZKML, that you have both model and sample can, can be private. You can also do private auction voting, and you know, like a little bit far-fetched right now, uh, dark pools. So uh, given that, uh, you know, the, the, the fact is that 
I hope that I have convinced that uh, you know, like programmable cryptography requires uh, MPC as a paradigm, which uh, you know, like includes all of these like blockchain, ZKP, MPC as a technique, FHG, and maybe also TEE. So uh, maybe we should have some uh, you know, like unified way in which you, you can uh, use to describe what you want to compute. Because you are going to uh, you know, like, uh, compose all of these uh, techniques into, into one, uh, one program that, that you want to, to, to make, right? So I call it uh, Cellcom MPC. Uh, in the blockchain side, maybe we just need uh, Solidity and Rust, like in the case of uh, Ethereum, right? Uh, for Cellcom ZK, so uh, Cellcom is a, is a domain-specific language that I will explain later. But uh, Cellcom is, uh, was, origin is or was originally used for ZK uh, in the stack called Snack.js. So you can write a, a program in Cellcom, and uh, Snack.js will generate a gross 16 or a plong or an f plong proof for you. Okay, so it's a language to describe what you want to compute, and then uh, you can generate a zero not proof out of it. Uh, so maybe we can uh, add into this, uh, this, this, this picture, Cellcom secret sharing or garbage circuit. So you use Cellcom to generate, uh, to, 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 um, to, to generate uh, MPC computation based on secret sharing and garbage circuit. You can also have Cellcom FHE, in which you write a program in Cellcom, and then you can uh, run uh, the, the FHE based on uh, what, what you have written, right? And the same for Cellcom TE. Uh, so why Cellcom? Uh, because like when we when we think about the the blockchain domain, right? Uh, and you you see that Cellcom ZK already exists. Uh, it has this a very uh, useful playground called ZK Repo.dev, which um, I think a lot of developers will go here and then try to play with this uh, Cellcom language, try to try to write something and see some. Uh, feedback on the side, so they, they can get uh, to 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 more to be more familiar with uh, with, with 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 the with the technique of ZKP, right? Uh, Cellcom is also, let's say, a standard and strict circuit description. So if you are using Cellcom, you see that you cannot do direct secret index access. You have to do something like multiplexer. multiplexer. Uh, you don't you don't have direct branching on secret condition. You can you you also need to do explicit multiplexer, okay? And then you 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 cannot do uh, an unknown number of uh, iterations. So you must know the number of iterations at compilation time. You can also specify the max number of iterations, and then you do some like dummy step after that. But it's it's up to how you write the, the circuit yourself. So. Uh, in this way, the, the, the Cellcom language help uh, prevent many circuit bad, bad practices. Okay, so if we look at other languages like Rust or Python, uh, like they, let's say that they are more familiar to uh, many developers, but uh, they don't have this uh, strict, uh, strict circuit description. So there will be a little bit of hiccup when you write, like uh, if, you are, if you are using MP, MP space, then you, you know that when you want to do branching, you have to do this if else. Uh, like there is this structure that it is not very uh, you know, intuitive, like you, you are writing uh, the, this, the, the normal Python program. And then uh, also, uh, why Cellcom, especially for blockchain applications? Uh, we have many uh, blockchain uh, zero-knowledge circuits written in Cellcom. So we have this uh, standard Cellcom library uh, that is written by the owner of the, of the Cellcom DSL itself. Uh, we already have some zero-knowledge machine learning in the Cellcom libml. And then we also have some other interesting uh, circuits, like uh, if you look at it, we have the ZK RISC-5, which is uh, a simple uh, RISC-5 uh, machine. It's incomplete but still uh, something interesting to see. And then uh, maybe someone can pick it up and then, then complete it, All right? Uh, yeah, so Cellcom is also like the go-to DSL when you try to uh, onboarding uh, the blockchain developers into ZK. And then I think it becomes kind of natural. 
if you want to onboard a ZK developer into MPC, then you can just uh, use Cellcom. Right? And un unlike other ZK DSL, uh, so there are other ZK DSL uh, like Cairo or PIL, so polynomial identity language, but uh, they are very uh, specific for describing uh, polynomials. And in MPC, we don't really do with polynomials. So uh, yeah, so like Sarcom is uh, like pure circuit description. Uh, it is not tying closely to, to ZK. So Sarcom uh, is reusable for MPC. And then maybe we can do some relaxation from the strict ZK uh, practices. Uh, and then we can even extend it with uh, its, uh, let's say it has a tag system that allow you to tag a wire with some properties. So that you can imagine you can do typing you can do some visibility. So by visibility, mean, I mean that something can start as a secret, and then in, in the middle, you can open it. So you can use it as a condition for branching. Uh, you know, like without doing this, uh, multi multiplexer is very similar to open in MP speeds. Uh, you can also uh, try to do threading and, and more. Like this tag system is uh, a universal system. So uh, how, do we, how do we do this? Uh, we have already a rich... Uh, libraries uh, in Cellcom, and then you, you can write like your privacy preserving program in Cellcom, uh, in which uh, you have some part of your program in ZK, maybe for authentication for, or for authorization, like signature. Uh, you can uh, also express some part of your program in MPC, and then if you like to use FXG, uh, just because uh, when you are running your, your protocol, uh, there is this, uh, powerful entity that can actually, uh, powerful server that can actually execute FXG. Uh, yeah, like at, at some cost of the, uh, of the security, of course. And then, so uh, now with, with, with this, uh, what we need to focus is like really in the, uh, this, uh, this stack in, in, in gray. So we need a compiler from uh, Cellcom to uh, whatever you want to support in the back end. And then uh, maybe you need an optimizer to uh, do some, uh, let's say, uh, modification of what the compiler's output to, uh, you know, like, uh, be, be more native to the, to the back end. Uh, then you can have the scheduler for like a threading and then coordinator uh, to put these things together. Uh, right. So uh, the compiler just uh, can uh, compile this uh, this circum program into uh, an arithmetic or Boolean format, and we can augment uh, some additional information uh, such as uh, the constants that you are using, the type, and uh, the uh, the visibility of uh, of the of the wire, and then the optimizer can uh, map the arithmetic gates to those that the backend supports. For example. Uh, if you compile it to an automatic gate and then your back end only support uh, Boolean gates, then of course you have to do some like you know uh, decomposition uh, from automatic to Boolean and then you, you can actually run it with the uh, with the Boolean back end. Uh, and then you you may want you may need to uh, to convert comparison to subtraction and uh, most significant bit check if uh, the back end doesn't conveniently have a, a comparison operator for you. Like in MP speeds, you do, but in many uh, existing, uh, like other, other MPC framework, like we, we have one in, in Gabo circuit called uh, MPC. It doesn't allow you to do comparison directly, but you have to do uh, composition, subtraction, and uh, uh, the uh, MSB check. Or if you uh, have like, uh, a native negative gate, you can just expose it uh, and, and tell the, the optim optimizer to, to use it directly. Or if uh, in MP speed you have this uh, like pre-built uh, lock function or like the, the tan or the cosine function, you can also expose it so the, uh, the optimizer knows to, to use it directly. Uh, yes, scheduler for memory recycling, uh, threading. And then coordinator is for running uh, different backends. Uh, you can also consider dynamic circuit or uh, MBC VM. Okay. Uh, 
So we, we, we started this uh, project not so long ago. And uh, right now, we have, uh, like most of our focus uh, was on this uh, arithmetic, uh, CERCOM to arithmetic uh, circuit compiler. And then for the optimizer, we just have the very simple ones and we don't really need uh, the scheduler because right now we have like two, uh, two stack from this, uh, like end-to-end -end stack from, from this, uh, this framework. Like, so we have all in one CERCOM GABO circuit. We call it CERCOM MPZ. Uh, it is actually uh, arithmetic uh, GABO circuit. It is it's broken. So uh, in, fe in February, there is like a vulnerability on BMR16. So we cannot uh, really use this uh, stack anymore. Uh, we have all in one CERCOM uh, secret sharing. Uh, the back end right now is MP speed. So with this, you can write a program in CERCOM and execute with MP speeds. And so here are my, my thoughts on this. Uh, Right, right now we have a simple and working stack and we are entering a uh, demonstration phase. So uh, we are picking uh, different circum programs and try to see how it interacts with our, our stack, what is the performance uh, and like uh, how, how easy uh, is it to use. Uh, we, we don't see any uh, overhead because most of our, let's say, uh, execution of the MPC protocol is like one-to-one -one mapping. Uh, because we are using MP, MP speed, which is very expressive. So it's as expressive as, as CERCOM. You can, you can just express comparison and then MP, and MP speed has uh, com comparison. You just use that. Uh, and uh, this uh, CERCOM MP, MPC stack is like a highly explorative nature. And then we don't want to over-optimize before we see how, how things work for, for this stack and uh, what already exists in the uh, CERCOM ecosystem. And then, uh, Finally, uh, I think that maybe this is not a team's effort, but it is more like a, a collaborative or a community effort. Because like we, we have a small team, we don't really uh, able to, we are not really able to like fully fresh out this thing, but we just, we're just trying to communicate this idea. And then if our community or some, some other team want to pick up some part, then uh, like, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so now, uh, like with this uh, CERCOM MPC compiler, we have uh, most of the uh, essential CERCOM syntax are supported. Uh, we have uh, what we call arithmetic Bristol uh, format that is very similar to Boolean Bristol. It is just like we are replacing a Boolean uh, wire with arithmetic wire. We also have, uh, like, like recently, last week, we also output uh, Bristol fashion Format so we can run directly with some uh, with some some GABO circuit uh, boolean based backend without the the need of doing this uh, decomposition. So it's it's it's, it's, it's even more convenient. Uh, okay, so uh, we have semantic name to Y index. So you know, like when you are using this uh, this format, it is uh, very difficult to uh, know uh, why why are one or why two. What are they? So like it's more convenient if you just uh, use the, the name of the, of the wire that is described in CERCOM and have a mapping of them so that uh, when you read the inputs uh, or you ask for the input from the, from the parties that run the MPC, you can just uh, tell them, hey, you need uh, to, to input the, the, the secret for, for this variable is a name here. Uh, Right, so we have MPZ BMR16 in Rust, but uh, it is uh, like broken. Uh, and MP speed is another an, another backend that we uh, that we are supporting. Yeah, so for coordination of uh, these backends, uh, for the MPZ BMR16, uh, it is in the two PC settings. So we just simply write a loader in which it reads the uh, arithmetic circuit, and then it will create like uh, the the circuit in like in memory circuit representation, and then the uh, MPC backend can uh, can execute this. For MP speeds, uh, it is like um, two to uh, more uh, party uh, settings. Uh, we have a configuration file here for uh, to describe uh, which uh, inputs uh, belong to whom. 
and uh, then uh, like what is the expected output of, of that party as well. For example, here we are expecting A from Alice, uh, B from Bob, and then uh, the computation which is A plus B and uh, A, oh, all right, C, oh yeah, it's just a part of it. So, um, yeah. Uh, right, so this is actually, uh, with, with MPSpeed, we are doing a direct transpilation from the automatic circuit to the MPC program because uh, it will be, it, it is a little bit tricky to, to tinkering with the uh, low level API of MPSpeed. So we just uh, write the program itself and then let the, the whole stack uh, compile and run as is. Uh, right, so finally, uh, we hope to uh, replicate Circum MPC to more backends. Uh, like for us, Circum MPC is just uh, an example. And then uh, we can replicate the stack to have like some very simple working version of Circum Threshold FHE uh, or Circum with Motion or Circum with Latigo. And uh, to do this, we are leveraging the uh, PSC's acceleration program. Uh, in which we used to onboard a uh, new crypto dev. So we just give MP Speed as an example, and then we ask them if you can replicate what we did with MP Speed to this other library. So we enable also like FHG, uh, mix uh, circuit uh, computation with motion, or there is another FHG library called Latigo. Okay, so uh, like I want to get a little bit more futuristic. Uh, because, like you know, like as I said from the beginning, uh, I consider this as more a community and collaborative efforts, right? So maybe uh, someone in the community can can pick these ideas up. Uh, maybe we want auto competition of backends uh, with some specialized protocols like ORAM. So you don't just use generic MPC secret sharing garbage circuit or generic uh, FHG, but you actually use some specialized uh, protocols for like memory access like ORAM. Uh, you can uh, compose like uh, different uh, protocols automatically uh, based on the resource constraints and the security requirements. For example, if you say that this part, maybe we can just use TE, then we, like, we are giving away some security requirements, but we can uh, run it conveniently in, in a box. Uh, another part that we can do is uh, auto-validation of protocol leakage from circuit description. So after all, uh, the, the one that drives the uh, circum program is not a cryptographer. We, we, we don't expect a cryptographer to, to write the circum program, but a, but a developer to do it. And then uh, the developer may write uh, a trivial function so that from the output, you can actually reverse some of the private input or in the middle, you can have some leakage. So uh, we should have like auto validation of uh, leakage and, and tell it back to the developer, say, hey, you're leaking something here. You have to fix it. And then uh, another, another, another thing is that uh, this stack will allow uh, modular audit efforts. So you can have like MP, Circum MPC library and then you use them for Circum MPC program and then you, you, you can like, you know, have different backends. Uh, this allows you to quickly change a uh, backend to a more secure one or a more performance one. Also, uh, like we, we actually demonstrated this because we started with Circum MPC BMS 16. And as soon as we realized that it is broken because there is an attack that was discovered, we quickly switched to MP Suite and the, and the, um, and the process was like smoothly. Like in one week, we, we have this, uh, this new, uh, new stack working. Okay, so this is uh, the end of my uh, talk. Um, thank you very much. Okay, do we have any questions? No questions, okay. Thank you so much, Sam.